start our private portrait by doing the surface of the pond. It's less than halfway down your page and it's just a wibbly wobbly line from one side to the other. Good fun. Okay, now we're going to do the shark's body rising up out of this pond and it's going to be in a lovely smooth curve. Now Charlie, I think he's going to do dots and join his dots up. Okay, and then we're going to do the shark's nose. It's going to come back down towards the water, about halfway down to do the water, towards the water, sorry, and then curve in slightly. And then we're going to go in for its mouth. And then back down. And add teeth. Big eye by the corner of its mouth. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, and the eye is going to be looking forwards, but also slightly down because the prey it's going to eat is smaller than than it is. So it's going to be looking down. The eyes, pumpkin. Almost like a fried egg, isn't it? Okay, now do with an eyebrow coming down like an L shape across the top of the eye. Fab. And it's got a big pupil. Yes, it has. There's the fin, which is reminding me we need to do the tail sticking out the back. Okay, so that is emerging from the water and it's like a V. So you've got two lines going up a bit like a tree trunk and then two lines going out like that and then join them just by doing a capital V shape. Now my tail is quite small compared to my shark, but I'm going to pretend that's just what I want to because it's quite a long way back. It's quite a long shark. Okay, now we're going to do the prey, which is the swan. So we're going to do the swan's beak as our first thing, and it's going to be in back, sort of in line with the shark's teeth, so that we don't do it too big, because we really want the shark to look like it's dominating. Oh, yeah, sorry, Charlie's just tapped me to remind me, we need to do the knife and fork. Okay, so we're going to do the shark holding a knife and fork. So the first fin is separated from the body, and it's like a capital C. Thanks, Chops. And then a line down and then just connect it to the shark's body with one vertical line just at the top. The rest of it you would assume is under the water. Okay, and then slightly in from the side, you're going to do the handle of your fork. Lovely. And there's your three prongs, oh, a lethal weapon. Okay, now this fin is going to be, come halfway across the shark's body and do a shape a little bit, know, sort of like a, a bit like a candy cane almost. I'm really not sure how to describe that. And actually, I'm going to bend mine around slightly more so it really is holding onto its knife. And <clears throat> join it up to the body like that, but leave a, leave a space. Okay, and then tucked inside is the handle of the knife. Lovely. And the top of the knife blade is, is flat, that's where you rest your finger. And then I'm doing like a steak knife, so it's got a jagged underside like that. Yeah, that will land for me. Yeah, I don't know if that's good manners of a shark. Great. Okay, so let's do this one. So where were, were we? We are going to do the beak first, and it's going to be in no higher than, I'm going to maybe do it in line with the bottom of the shark's mouth, so that the swan isn't too big. And it's a very awkward shape to describe. You're going to do a small diagonal line like that, in line with the bottom of the shark's mouth. A bit lower down maybe, Charlie. Your shark's quite tall, a bit lower, yeah, a bit lower even still. You really want the shark to look much bigger than this poor swan. Okay, fab. Right, and then we're going to come down towards the water. Lovely. And then go in slightly towards that top bit of the beak but not quite as far, not quite as long a line, lovely, okay? And then curve that off and go finish off your beak. It's a sort of like a magnet shape almost. Magnificent, okay, so now the, the swan's head is going to be like a hill, quite a narrow hill, yes. And then we're gonna come down towards the water and then up in that lovely swell of the swan's body. Fab. 
fabulous. Oh, sorry, it's lovely. And then the swan's neck comes down and goes slightly forward. And I'm going to fill the swan's head with its horrified and mortified and totally astonished eyes. Lovely shiny. Your one looks like it's completely looking down at the knife and fought in terror. Love it. And I'm going to do two eyebrows to show the astonishment, which is like two little hills above the swan's eyes. Fantastic. Okay, ready to click? Yeah. That was quick. Fantastic. So if you want to have a go at drawing a shark in the park, uh, I would love to see your pictures. So send them into the hashtag below and check out the other tutorials on the website. There's another nine of them, including basic faces. We've got a horse, we've got skateboarders, everything that you might see in your local park. Now, next month, we're going to be doing tutorials for another scene completely. And it might be the beach or it might be circus or it might be space. We haven't decided. So let us know what you would like us to draw. Um, and if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram using the links below, then you'll be you'll get an alert to say when those tutorials are ready. And I would love you to join us. So good luck with your sharks and swans. Bye. Bye.